time to get pictures again. All right. How's that feel? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever. He's not getting his full braces today. Just the top. Strike him out. Someone call it. Call it. Good job, Jacob. currently 8 30 and I need to go wake up the boys because Jacob has an orthodontist appointment this morning he might be getting braces guys we'll see but the kids are definitely in summer mode when it comes to sleeping they don't get up until like 10 so they're not going to be happy with me about waking them up right now Jacob Jacob hey buddy you have an orthodontist appointment today Need to wake up. Xander. Hey, buddy. You need to wake up. Yes. Jacob has an appointment. We gotta leave in like 30 minutes. We're on our way to the orthodontist. Are you nervous, Jacob? No. Awesome. That's what I want to hear. How's you, Xander nervous? I know. I'm like, Xander, did you just say yes? <laughs> it's not your turn yet. It will be in a few years. But Jacob's wearing a shirt that he got from the orthodontist because if he wears it every time he comes in, he gets a point. And I guess after so many points, you earn a prize. I don't know. I was kind of confused when she was explaining it to us. Time to get pictures again. <laughs> There's Miss Hannah working hard. These are the easy pictures, huh? Put them on the handle. There you go. Go ahead and close your lips and close your eyes. No, like this. Here we go. There's his x ray. That's really creepy. You guys can see that he has one more baby tooth right there that hasn't come out yet. But Miss Hannah's off the pull it. Get ready, Jacob. <laughs> Just don't pull your baby tooth. <laughs> <laughs> he asked if you were putting his braces on. <laughs> Not yet. She's going to get there soon, right? <laughs> All right. You like it? <laughs> that's, that's why they went wrong, huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got to hold it up in yourself, dude. Close this. There you go. Open this one for my finger. There we go. There's Jacob's pictures that Miss Hannah took. Look, I see some inflamed gums, which means he's not brushing properly. Okay. We're getting started. <laughs> and he's not nervous at all, which is surprising. I'm proud of you, buddy, for being tough. He's got a tiny mouth. All right, how's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna dry your teeth off now, okay? He's not getting his full braces today, just the top. The top four, or the top, top eight. Top eight. And then we have to come back and get the rest later. Yes. I do see. And then we paint on this blue that tastes pretty sour. Done. Awesome, that was fast. So that same thing about six more times. See, that was fast and easy, huh?
Really? Yeah, it's a good documentation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Does that feel weird? <laughs> you want to go to the sink and rinse out? You're okay? All right. You look super cool, dude. <laughs> How does it feel? Feel weird? Yeah, weird. you'll get used to it. Time for the wires. Probably feels good not having that mouth guard in your mouth, huh? <laughs> What do you think, dude? Um, um, Are you good so far? Mm -hmm. You did so good. I'm so proud of you, buddy. So show them what all you got. Sugar free gum. <laughs> I know. What's what's your other package you got that she gave you right before we left? Um, foods I could eat. Yes, you oh. got mac and cheese, soup, and chocolate pudding. That's awesome. Mm. And mouthwash, and toothbrush. Are you happy that you have to brush your teeth three or four times a day? <laughs> Let me see your braces again. They look super cool, dude. You feel cool? You look kind of like the monkey on your shirt. <laughs> you don't look like a monkey, dude. Now we're at Chick-fil-A having lunch. Jacob's having soup. Something soft. Uh, it, tastes, it tastes so bad. <laughs> what well, it does? Your braces? Plus the, plus the orthodontist's hand. Like 
love. You got like a latex taste in your mouth. That's gross. Is the coldness helping? As far as like, yeah, they said that cold, so drink something cold and it helps like expand the braces, I guess, loosen it up. Yeah. All I can say is I'm glad that we only had two kids because then we would not have room for all these other crazy kids that I always have. <laughs> I have five boys right now, which is nothing new. I usually always do. But we are on our way to go get snow they cones really at Bahama Bikes. Did they? No, just no. Jacob was surprising them. So we've heard that cold things feel really good on braces, so we're gonna go get a snow cone. Yeah, I guess I wore braces for two years. It's gonna be a while. Bahama Bucks. They have a new warhead snow cone. Are you guys getting the warhead one? No. Yeah. What'd you get, Jacob? Uh, 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 a special thing. Chocolate milkshake? Yeah. Creamsicle? No, I was It's your sour dude. Biggest one here. She got warhead. Let me see that tongue. Is that salt on it they put on it sour? Your tongue, let me see. <laughs> we got birthday cake and birthday cake. With cream. With cream. And mine no, is I know, he got a small, everybody else got babies. Do you think you can be able to finish that? Yeah. It's a lot, he is. It's a lot of snow cone. A baby is like the perfect size. We're just gonna sit here and watch you eat it because it's, 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 <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> Why did you get it? Can I try it? Yes, like you know, it's just a typical day in our household. Nerf gun fights, as always. How many kids are here at the moment? Uh, seven. Oh my gosh. It's just you three against them four? No, I'm Ben. Ben's out playing. Okay, I can shoot you right now. He's gonna shoot your butt. Alright, move, Logan, move! Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up guys and gals? I'm on my way home from work as usual. Although I am, I can't really say it's usual because I'm at my other office, which is my one day a week office. But I'm on my way home because I need to hurry and get home, change clothes, and we need to grab a bite to eat and get to Time Ball, Texas for our second All-Star Tournament game. This one is going to be a uh, is going to be a tougher game for sure. Um, from what I hear, this team is probably the rank the best in our in this tournament that we're playing against, and I would say we were probably the second best team right there, second third best team in, in, in it. I actually think we have just as good of a team as this team, but the word spreads around how good this team is, so I'm just going to say, okay, that team's probably the better team at this point. So let's hope the boys show up to play some ball in a little bit. But I started this little clip just to say, Big Brother 18 is back! Yes! What was your favorite moment of Big Brother 18 episode one? We watched it last night. Um, I was shocked to see Mr. James and Frank the Tank back on the show. Some people didn't really like Frank the Tank. I liked Frank the Tank because he had to battle every single week the, the series that he was on, or the season he was on. And James, he's just a funny guy. I mean, he, he's, an, he's an Asian dude, right? But he talks like he's a redneck hillbilly. It's it's hilarious, and and he lives up to it. He 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 owns it. Which hey, if you have something that makes you unique, own it. What are your thoughts on episode one? Getting to meet everybody. Who's your favorite so far? Who do you think's gonna win? What team do you like out of the out of the groups that they they formed? Um, like I said, my favorites so far are seeing James back and Frank. Although, whenever they bring back characters from other seasons or, pl or players from other seasons, it just doesn't feel right because they're already at a disadvantage. Everybody's gunning for them. They want to get them out early, and so it's kind of hard on them. And plus, I like to see new individuals get there. Come in here. Tell them to come in here. And look Dad, at come look at my spacers. No, you come here. Okay. Hold on. I thought I was going to get to lay down for a few minutes. <laughs> Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> he told Eric that he got spacers, spacers today. You got I thought we were waiting. Y'all trying to trick me. Yes, we did. Uh, and how'd you do? Did you do all right? He, he did really said, good. Sam said I did really good. She okay. was super proud of him. Good job. He only got him on the top eight. He has to come back and get more. Oh. Cool, dude. It hurts on the tooth so, that is yeah, messed up. Uh, uh, He's already taking some ibuprofen. Yeah, they'll put him in position. 
So already got braces, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at you, dude. <laughs> he so matches his now. shirt. You your shirt. <laughs> We're on our way to baseball. Yeah, yeah. Are you nervous? No. Uh, not count. really. You're not nervous though. Good. I, ta I talked about it to him on camera on my phone a little bit earlier oh, did you? on the way home. Said this is probably like us and that team are probably the two best teams. And this one's probably, everybody seems to think this team is better than our team. But they want to say that they have four ace pitchers. We have four ace pitchers. Like any given day, those any of those four kids on either team could have a great game or a really bad game. They're right. 10 years old. So <laughs> you can't really say you have an ace pitcher at this age. <laughs> But this is the team that knocked us out of the championship last year. We had to beat them twice, and we couldn't even beat them once. Yeah. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Man, I hope not. I'm sure they have some of the same kids from that team, too. Probably. Oh, I'm sure they, they do, but that they was they nine just converge into one yeah. team. We have two teams. They have one. Come on, Jacob. Big hit, buddy. Drop it. Oh! Good drop! Oh! Dang it. Jacob's pitching. Come on, buddy. Strike him out. Good job, buddy. Good job. Play over there. No, with us. Good job, buddy. Horrible job being bored. As long as you don't have a goal. Bye, you're my goal. Nice. Good job. Nice board for him. I'm perfect. Someone call it. Someone call it. Call it. Good job, Jacob. But call it. Come on, Jacob. They need two outs. One more out, and then their team wins. Get us started, buddy. Ball game. Well, that didn't go as planned. What'd you think, honey? <laughs> the game sucked. It was bad. It was so bad that it was 11 to nothing. That's how bad it was. That was, it was pathetic. I'm sorry, guys and gals out there. We just did not come to play today. We it, didn't. I mean, the team was good, yes. This, I, I mentioned it earlier. This team was considered probably the best out of the tournament, but... If we wouldn't have given them six runs, basically, five or six of the runs that they got were because we missed plays where we should have been out of the inning because of an out that we messed up on, or we threw the ball around, and they ran the bases a lot better than what we expected them to do, which that's what happens when you play a high-level team. They're going to run bases well. They had a lot more base runners than we did. And the strike zone was, like, this small for us. It was, yeah, it, it was, was it was a small, it was bad. It was, it was very bad. I was frustrated with the strike zone. Uh, for our starting pitcher, he was hitting edges, and yeah, some of them they were kind of iffy. But these are ten-year-olds, and they always get these calls. And the other team was getting those calls, so it's like, why are you giving the calls for one team but not the other team? You got to call a consistent strike zone. If you call a consistent strike zone and it's bad both ways, I'm not complaining. I don't care as long as it's consistent. But this was not a consistent strike zone. There was a, the game should have been five to nothing when we're when the game was over with because it was eleven to nothing. But it should have been five to nothing. The way that we batted, we didn't even get to the order two times. Jacob came up exactly two times, and he was the last out. And both of his outs were kind of pop ups. He his his stance looked better in the in, in the in the batter's box, but he just didn't get a hold of the ball. That's I mean, it's not like he was overpowered. The pitcher that, that was pitched on the mound supposedly was one of their ace pitchers, and I don't know. He, he just seemed like a good kid. He, he pitched fine, but he didn't seem like some kid that was blowing these other kids away. That was like a strikeout king or something. It was just. We just didn't get. Did, How many didn't base runners good. did we have? We had maybe two or three base runners the entire <laughs> game, that? and and it was so frustrating, so frustrating. So now we get to play again tomorrow. Yeah, Yay. and then if we if we win tomorrow, we get to play the same team again on Saturday, and then if we win that game, we have to play the same team again on Sunday. We beat them twice because <laughs> yeah. they haven't lost. Because now we're in the losers bracket. 
But hey, let's, let's just concentrate on tomorrow. I, I told the boys that this is the worst game I've seen you guys play. I was like, I usually don't get down on kids and I don't say anything negative, but today you guys beat yourselves. You guys played down and this other team played really good and you guys just got stomped on you know it's it was it happens it's baseball you're gonna lose some but let's come back out here tomorrow and be ready to play right hopefully that's that's the plan anyways <laughs> so jacob ended up i don't know if amy got these on video so i'll go ahead and say it real quick so we have this memory um i didn't have <clears throat> jacob when he played third base there was a pop-up that was going foul and he ran it down in foul territory and got the out he caught the, caught the ball got the out that was one out he had um, he was pitching, oh, yeah, and there was a pop-up. You got this one? Yeah. And there was a pop-up, and the third baseman never called him off. They were just kind of like, I got it, I got it. Didn't say it loud or anything. And he took over, and he got it. I told my third baseman, or I told our, I'm not the coach. The coach. Remember <laughs> that, Eric? I told our third baseman, you need to call Jacob off on that. You need to take control of that, because you're coming forward looking up at it. Jacob's running backwards to get the ball. I wasn't trying to cover Amy's face up, but there it is right there. Um, and then he struck somebody out. Um, and he did what he does on the pitcher's mound. He had a couple of ground ball outs that should have been played. I know one of them got played. I don't know. But it was frustrating. I really just kind of stopped paying attention to the game. He pitched fine, but in my eyes, Jacob can pitch better. Like the, both of these games that he's gotten and he's pitched, I haven't been super impressed with my son, Jacob, Mr. Brace Face over there. Um, <laughs> He, he he can pitch much better than he's showing, and uh, I don't know. He's just he's just not all in right now. I think that there's a few kids. They're just not all in, and if you're not all in, you're gonna get ran over by teams like this, right? It's true. Yeah. So what do you think? What is what should the word of the day be? Stomped. Stomped. <laughs> That's the word of the day. Yeah, Amy chose it. it. We. Oh, the braces stomped. was good too, but we're gonna say stomped. We've already called it because that's. It's pretty good. Uh, this is probably a pretty long vlog because there's, there's braces footage and there's this little bit of baseball and then this four minute clip here at the end. So we're going to stop it right here. We're watching Big Brother. So far I told you I like James and, and, um, and Frank the Tank. Uh, I really haven't paid too close of attention to, to, to the, to know any to of the, the newbies players. yet. Yeah. What's your favorite player? I'm, I'm She's guilty. waiting. No, I'm guilty of the same thing. I like Nicole. Okay, so. she likes Nicole. So we'll, we'll keep awesome. updating every here and there. And, and Jacobs is Corey. Like, because he's a baseball coach. I kind of like Corey too, so I'll, I'll go with Corey as one of my favorite newbies. Um, that's it for today. Hopefully you liked the vlog. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Comment down below with the word of the day. And also, if you're new to the channel, you should hit the subscribe button because guess what? Guess what? We have baseball again tomorrow. And <laughs> we just reached another 500 subscribers, so this weekend oh we have to goodness. do a super duper duper dare because we missed out on the last one. So we got to do something awesome that's really funny, and I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll just wait and see, but we're going to do something this weekend for it. So make sure you go tell everybody else to go subscribe and come back and watch more of our videos. We'll see you tomorrow.